This bill deals with the surveillance by drones, unmanned aerial vehicles, and precludes the use of drones for surveillance by law enforcement with some important exceptions to counter a high risk of a terrorist attack with a search warrant based on probable cause with reasonable suspicion that action is needed to prevent imminent life to harm or forestall the imminent escape of a suspect to locate a missing person or to photograph a crime scene or traffic crash scene. This may seem like science fiction, but the reality is law enforcement is seeking to obtain, in many cases, drones, which are very uh, easy to access in terms of cost, and a big threat to our privacy. I ask for an I vote. Happy to answer any questions. Lady moves through the passage of the bill. The bill is on the order of short debate. The chair recognizes Mr. Rebelletti for two minutes. Representative, um, you were talking about this, the search warrant, the, necess the necessity for a search warrant. Um, I think we discussed this a little bit in committee yesterday. If there is an emergent situation, isn't it possible for the state's attorney to go ahead and begin to use it for 48 hours, up to 48 hours before going to get a search warrant? So if there's an emergency, they don't have to try to find a judge, get a search warrant drafted where, there, where time is of the essence? That absolutely is, is allowed. And are you aware right now, currently, if any law enforcement in the state of Illinois is using drones for any uh, searching or any other uh, law enforcement procedures? At, these, at this point, I believe there are at least two uh, law enforcement agencies that are exploring and testing the usage of drones. But the idea here is to um, address this proactively and ensure that the privacy protections for citizens are in place and to ensure freedom for unnecessary surveillance without reasonable suspicion of crime. And what, would the, it, it, what was the maximum time frame in which a drone could be used? I think you mentioned that yesterday in committee. 45 days. With the warrant, it's 45 days. Up to 45 days, but Up the court to. the court could make it shorter than that. Is that yes, fair to yes, say? Yes, sir. The court does have discretion. And most folks think about drones as the type of drones you see that the military uses to uh, for drone strikes and military action. What type of drones are law enforcement using? Something they use in smaller drones, larger drones? What are... What are you seeing in other states? Well, there are a number of states, first of all, that have taken action to limit and restrict how drones can be used for the exact reasons we d we've discussed in committee. But at this point, drones are getting smaller. They're getting cheaper. They can uh, come in a variety of types with a variety of uses. And they are very useful tools. This bill in no way uh, limits the use for important law enforcement needs. What it does is ensure that the privacy protections afforded to us under the Constitution, under the First and the Fourth Amendment, are intact. Thank you. There being no further debate, those in favor of the bill will vote yes, opposed no, the voting is open. Have all voted who wish. Have all voted who wish. Clunan, Hatcher, Leach, Morrison. Hatcher, please take the record on this question. There are 105 voting yes, 12 voting no. And this bill having received the constitutional majority is hereby declared passed.